Hi, this is Chris Wall at The Wall Network, and today we're going to talk about some of the new certifications from VMware, specifically the VMware Certified Associate, or VCA, exams that have come out that focus on four different strengths or pillars within the VMware ecosystem. And I've got the page open on the VMware certification site, uh, specifically MyLearn, so that you can see all the different certifications, although we'll just be focusing on VCA. So if I scroll down here a bit uh, to the main three, four food groups there, you can kind of see it. Uh, we have VMware Certified Associate Cloud at the top. It's actually into the cloud area if I go up just a little bit. Uh, so that's that's totally new and is based on uh, vCloud Director type knowledge as well as the cloud as VMware expresses it. We also have in the data center virtualization under vSphere 5, we have the VMware Certified Associate Data Center Virtualization. It's actually based on version 5 of vSphere, vSphere 5. Uh, so moving on, we also have the VMware Certified Associate Workforce Mobility, and that's in the end user compute space. So I would imagine that's uh, somewhat based on Horizon View. And then a new player to the arena, the network virtualization portion of MyLearn, did not exist until just now, basically prior uh, from the existence of the VMware Certified Associate Network Virtualization Exam, there was no network virtualization segment on this page. So that's interesting, uh, just because the network virtualization product uh, based on NSX, which was from an acquisition of NYSERA, is all rather new. In fact, it, it's really not out in the wild yet. I'm not seeing anybody using it yet. I don't think it's really been released in any meaningful way. So uh, that kind of follows suit with the exam. It's still coming soon. So let's talk about one of these exams that do exist. We'll go back up and we'll talk about the vSphere 5's version of the VMware Certified Associate Data Center Virtualization. Now, if you click on the certification, it'll take you to a page like this, where basically you're presented with a whole host of information. First off, you have the ability to download the blueprint, which for pretty much any VMware certification you're gonna wanna do. The blueprints are pretty handy with VMware. They go over kind of step-by-step -step what you need to know. It covers common questions, things like how do I register, what kind of accounts do I need, where do I sit the test, and then all the content that will be tested at a high level on the test. So they're not going to tell you the answers. That would be silly, of course. But they will tell you you need to have strengths in these certain particular areas and, and skill sets that match certain years of time and certain kind of environments. So you can download the blueprint, or you can go ahead and register for the exam. You have to be authorized to take the exam. It's not something you can go out on your own and do without having VMware authorize you to do it. And if we go down a little bit further, there's actually some videos down here that you can take, uh, or rather watch. So you've got uh, the fundamentals of data center virtualization, as well as a roadmap of how VMware recommends you go about getting certified for the VCA DCV. Now, assuming you've read what you want to read or watch the videos, read the blueprint, went to the forum, maybe asked someone a question, uh, you can go ahead and proceed up to here, register for the exam. When you click on that, it'll ask you for a login account. This is your MyLearn account in order to get into the system. Once you enter your MyLearn account or register for a new one if you don't have one, basically what's going to happen is you'll get a notification stating that in roughly 15 minutes, although I've noted that it can take longer than that, you'll be authorized to take the certification. It's pretty much that simple. Once that occurs, you can head onto the Pearson website, which I'll bring up now. And here we have the Pearson website. It's uh, pearsonview.com, and there's a sign-in segment that you can go to. So I'll scroll down to IT. Makes sense, right? You're not in insurance or financial services. And VMware is always pretty much right at the bottom, or pretty close. Yeah, it's second from the bottom. It's the unfortunate curse of having a V being your first initial, I should be very well aware of that uh, being a W, I'm always pretty much at the last of the list. Uh, so click on VMware, and if we scroll down, it kind of gives you a list of what you're signing in for. So basically, there's associate and prof professional level exams in the beginning, that's VCA and VCP, and then the secondary advanced level exams, those are all the VCAPs or VCAPs. So you're going to be looking for the associate area here. You'll click on associate and professional level exams. It's kind of confusing because you'll notice there's some sign-in buttons and all this kind of stuff. What I recommend doing is just go ahead, go down to the associate level exams area, click that, and then you'll be presented with a login specifically for the associate level exams. So here you're signing in for VMware Incorporated Online Services. And once you sign in here, if you don't have an account, you'll have to create one if you do go ahead and sign in, and there's a relationship between your Pearson View account 
and your VMware certification number. There's actually a very long certification number that everyone has. It's unique to you, and it applies to all your certifications. VMware no longer does a certification number for each exam or certification. So you'll log in here. You can take the exam and pay for it. Okay, so I'm logged in using my account, and some of it will be blurred because I don't want to share my super secret information. Uh, but you'll notice you get the purchased online exams showing recently completed exams. And just for giggles, I took the uh, VCA data center virtualization uh, based on vSphere 5 just to kind of experience it and see what it was like. You'll also notice at the bottom area, we've got the VMware incorporated exams that you're pre-approved for. So if you went ahead and got approval for the VCA DCV, as I do here, you'll see it on your list. Uh, I went ahead and got myself approved for the cloud exam just so you could see what that looks like. I'll have a list of everything you're approved to take down in this area, anything you've completed up in this area. So if I wanted to take the cloud exam, because it's the one I haven't taken yet, I can click on that here. I'll let you know that it's 120 bucks to take the test, but if we look down at the bottom, we'll do a register for this exam, you'll see that there's actually a discount. You get to choose English or Japanese. I assume you know which one you speak or can read. And there we go. We see that I've chosen English. I have 90 minutes to take the exam somewhere between the 4th and the 6th of October because basically you have two days from the point in which you uh, get authorized to go ahead and take it. At this point, you can see the 120 US dollars has gone to $60 uh, during this launch campaign. So you're on the hook for 60 bucks, and it's an online exam. So I could go ahead and do a checkout at this point. And it's going to go through a series of questions, basically, you know, that it has your information. You can keep rolling through it and agree to the policy. I've already read it. Make sure that you read it very carefully, uh, specifically the browser compatibility. So at this point, you're ready to enter payment. You either can provide a voucher or promo code. I know there's some floating around from Eric Sloof at the time of recording this. So uh, do some Google searches there. I'll add a link in the comments. And you can potentially turn that 60 into zero if you use it. Otherwise, you're on the hook for 60 bucks or potentially 120, depending on when you're watching this. As soon as you submit it, I don't want to actually do it right now, but as soon as you submit the order, you're ready to take the exam. Uh, it'll process your payment, and there'll be a button saying, you know, take exam. You could do that now or between the next two days. It doesn't really matter. And then you're taking the exam. You're actually in the environment right away taking the exam. Uh, it's usually about 50-something questions. You have, again, 90 minutes to take it. Once you're done, you immediately get your score, and that's it. You, you are now certified or not. You might have to take it again. So that's all it takes to get certified for the VMware Certified Associate exam. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to click the like button. Don't miss out on my future videos. Become a YouTube subscriber today. Do you crave more content on home labs, technical certifications, deep dives, product reviews, and geeky shenanigans? Wall Network is also available in blog format at wallnetwork.com.